Good morning, YouTubers. Morning, people. Uh, we're I'm here doing inspections. I've got inspection day. I don't normally record inspection day because it's boring, but still, it's part of the job, isn't it? We'll see what it brings up. Probably nothing. It's the bread and butter work, isn't it, people? You need to do your bread and butter work. <laughs> Birdie got that from that farm yesterday, White Post Farm. <laughs> She's a good gal. Look, my new work boots have finally come. I only have ex arme boots I do because I find them the most comfortable, the most hard wearing, even though my sole come off the last one. That's the first time that's ever happened. I've been wearing my dancing boots, you see, and I've ruined them and all. I only wore them for a few days, ruined them. <laughs> Shoes don't last me long. Joe there. Right, inspection on this beast, eight wheeler. Old girl. Let's do it.com. Wouldn't that do your head in? Driving along with that rattling all day. Fucking hell, do my head in that one. I've tightened that all when I'm. Hello, Joe! Ah! Uh, no, that's come here. <laughs> Ah, the classic Volvo. Lovely little machine. No fucking marker lights rocking. What the fuck is that lot? What is that? Expanding foam. <laughs> Don't stand a chance, does it? Fuck, look at all the sh What the fuck? This old, isn't it? <laughs> It is, isn't it? It's like... <laughs> oh dear, the old truck set to line. <laughs> ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just don't look, Chris. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oh, wrong one, twat. <laughs> oh. Oh. I've got some shout outs to give. AT Wild and Sons. They are, oh, oh, dealers and stockists. Oh, fucking hell, look. Perkins at Jan Marr, look. That's handy to know. Uh, yeah, give me a pen and some cups and a, and, a, uh, and a measuring tool. I like this, look. You see it come in this box here. Look. And obviously, it had a 30 centimetre ruler. But they obviously couldn't fit it in. So, uh, so they snapped it in half. <laughs> When I opened the box, I, I, I giggled to myself. I thought, hmm, that's one way of doing it. We have a key ring as well. And a, and a cup. You can't beat having a few cups. Thank you, you lot. Thank you at Wild Plant, are you? I'll pull out my key ring. This is from our Richard Law at Dover. Cheers, Richard. Uh, cheers a lot. I've had it on numerous occasions where people on the comments say, you need an air chisel, Chris. I'm surprised you haven't got an air chisel. You know what you need on that job, don't you? An air chisel. Air chisel, Chris. I'll tell you why I haven't had one. I had one in the workshop years and years ago, many moons ago. I bought one and I hardly used the fucking thing. I didn't use it for piss all. But I might have underestimated the handiness of these. So hopefully this will come in handy on my channel, won't it? When I'm struggling with everything. Thank you, Richard. Much appreciated, mate. You're a bloody good man. That'll no doubt get me out of some shit, that will. Won't it, Matt? Right, Chris, carry on with paperwork, for God's sake. That's handy to know, that is, look. Lister, look, Kubota. Mm, bloody good. I'll keep that up here. Because often I need little bits for stuff. Dealers and stockists. And they. Cheers, lads. Another one. And another one's gone, and another one's gone, and another shed in the dust. Down in the dirt. 
Oh, I think that centre there may have a bit of play in it, you know. You know what I mean? These things are shit. Look, oh, see that, what he's got in there? He thought that'd be a good purchase, like, because it's meant to hold it on, the nipple. You know what I mean? You've got to press that down to get it on the nipple, then it holds it on, look. Yeah, shit. Shit idea. Don't work at all. Uh, it works uh, even worse than just a normal greasing end. And I'll tell you for why as well, because uh, for a start, you've got to get your arm up there to actually press it on. So if you're far away at full stretch, you can't just launch it on at full stretch like that now because you've got to get your hand up there to press it on. And as well, uh, to get it off, obviously you need to press it. Well, that's even if it don't come off by itself like it does. So it's not the best. I didn't like it anyway. The third and final one. Oh, look, Big Red's getting vinyled. Ah, if you haven't already guessed, guys, I'm here at DJ Projects at Nottingham. DJ Projects! I'm here to do. What am I here to do? Oh, yeah, that's it. That JCB telehandler. It had a diesel leak on the fuel pump of it. Oh, a bit ago. Uh, and I was meant to come back and take the pump off. But, uh, you know, to tell you the truth, I forgot all about it. You know, Dave texted me the other day. He says, you forgot about me or what? And I'm, I was like, what? He's like, this, this pump. I'm like, oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> so that's what I'm here for. I'm going to take this pump off and then Dave's going to go and get it uh, reconned. They're getting some bits of gear, the D&J team are, aren't they? Oh, brings back some bad memories, this does. Remember when I lost that spring in this injection pump? Oh, that was a freaking nightmare, that was. A nightmare, people. Right, first job, let's get the cable. Fucking hell, I was not expecting it to be this shit up already. We only steamed this off a few weeks ago. Jesus, it's larrup. I ain't got a clue how you take these off. You know, I've never done one of these fucking ones before. I've got the Google, haven't I? Or go on the phone, one of the two. No, I've looked. I can't find out on YouTube about these. Apparently, these are called Zexel ones. Now, I was thinking that I'd have to lock the timing off or out like that. You know how you normally do. But by the looks of the images, I've been looking at images, and there's a lad on YouTube, an Indian bloke. That's the only one I can find that don't speak English. But he's reconditioning, but he's got this already on a bench. But it looks like that this just works off a cam. So you take these six bolts out here, obviously take all these parts off, and all that removes... And it looks like it just works off, off a cam inside and it's just got plungers that, that inject the, the the diesel. So I'm assuming, and I'm not going to take it out with just an assumption, but I'm assuming I don't need to lock no time off or like that. I just undo all this lot and remove it. But I need to know for sure, don't I? Because I don't want to be removing it and I'm buggering up something. So I still need... I'll ring Dave up and get the number of the bloke who is taking it to because he'll know when I... <laughs> I've even looked back at my comments because I remember when I took this apart uh, the first time, a lad said that a place at Leicester called Wellborn uh, do stuff like this. But I've tried ringing them, but uh, the main man ain't there. So let's ring Dave up. Now, Dave's not picked up, but while I'm waiting for him to ring me back, I'm going to uh, have a bit of a clean up and then take these injector pipes off out of the way. Oh, mate, struggling on. Right, I'm all set up, really, for the big removal. I think you just remove it, don't I? Or do I wait? <laughs> I can't, the can't, you can't. There's no timing in there, but the looks of the picture, of the diagram of what it is, the part. That's it, Chris, you convince yourself. That's the spirit. Take it off, million springs come out of it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> like last time. When I lost a spring. Oh, don't remind me of that little job. Come on, Dave, ring me back. I'm going to ring him again. That's why I didn't pick up his phone, because he's driving, obviously. I better not go any further. He's here now, isn't he? I'd, I'd best ring the chap up. Yay! Don't you pick up your phone while you're driving or something? I'm trying to find you. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'd save your credit, mate. I need the number for this fuel pump, fuel pump man. I've got his personal number, sorry. Yeah, I've just spoke to the lad who he's taking it to, and he says, no, all will be, you have to remove these six bolts, and then all will be is a linkage 
from the accelerator some somewhere linked onto it but i don't i don't really know what's that thing there I don't know, let's just take these six bolts out and wing it. <laughs> the old winging job. But he says you don't need to lock off any time or like that. So let's just do it. Get my little magnet tray out, look, because I don't want to be losing bits, do I? <laughs> no, fucking don't. One of my subscribers gave me this ages ago, and I mean ages ago and all. And I don't know whether I ever gave him a shout out. So if I didn't, thank you. Bloody good man. Bloody good man. Uh, right, where was I? 12 mil, where's the socket gone now? Oh, here he goes, lost his socket now, man. What do you say, David? I've, I've given you a nice clean area. What have you got, man? Is it your one now? Yeah, new one. No, it's not yours. I'm Someone not sending you that. Oh, right, yeah, I've got two of them, yeah. Good on it. Yeah, I know, well, I thought, fucking hell. Since you lost that spring? Is it? Is it You should have used mine. No, someone gave me that ages ago. I had that in the van all along, ages ago. It's been stuck in my van. I've only got... I had mine about a year. In the garage. And I thought, you know what, I'll use that. And I yeah, stopped using it. Yeah, you see. Look, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Saves all them problems. I oh, know, it does. Oh, that aggro what I had with that spring. Yeah, I've bloody hell. Yeah, I, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to be repeating that, David. No, we don't relive that, do we? Right, what, what have we done with my tools again now? Oh, it's your Yo! It looks like there's a stop solenoid what goes into the into the casing at the front of it. Yeah, and don't force it like. <laughs> yeah, there is this stop solenoid that looks at the front of it, but I don't know whether that'll be... Will that be into it at all? Might be, might it? The stop solid might be in the kit, anyway, it's going to be electric solid. Yeah, it did. Alright, thank you, mate. Thank you for your help. Your advice. Cheers, mate. Bye. Yeah, that was a fuel pump guy again. He, that was good of him. He rang me back because uh, he spoke to another lad and he says there might be, well, there is this summit that attaches the, the, the rack to it, the accelerator to, to this thing. So he says, just be wary of pulling it out. There might be a pin or something that you have to take out. But there is this stop solenoid look here. So I don't know whether that goes into it or I know this will be attached to it somewhere, the accelerator obviously. Inside here. Oh. That's got pressure on it a bit. Did you see that? Mind you, it will have, won't it? Because obviously it works off the cam, doesn't it? So whoops, a few of them will be under pressure. There must be something else, because that ain't giving me no slack at all. It's got pressure on this side, look, somewhere. All right, I may as well check that stopper out, I don't know. I've got no to lose, ever. Just take the freaking stopper out and see what the crack is, because that ain't coming out as as easy as what I th was hoping it would. Right, now, you see on my diagram, that number 60, that would be this side of it, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be this side. So, yeah, take, yeah, I'll take that out, yeah. There she goes. Oh, here are, it popped out then. Did you see that? Did you hear it? Well, you oh, yeah, you did see it. So it pop out. I'll leave that bit in there then, because that's obviously done its job, hasn't it? Aha. Uh -huh. Look at that, how simple that is. So take that R clip out and then take the arm off it. Bloody jobs are good un. I'm going to hold on to this R clip with my dear life. I do not want this dropping into the engine. Straight into the magnetic tray, that guys. Ah, and there she flies. And there she is, look guys. I saw on YouTube an engine chap he was doing this, and that way, when you pump it, see, it works on the cam lock there. Look, they just they just roll on cams lock, and then just puts pressure, uh, pressurizes the diesel through. And I seen a guy uh, when he put it this way, he pressed that, and there was piss all diesel coming out of it until he went there, and then it, he pushed it, and then it allows it to inject diesel. So that obviously controls the amount of diesel going through. Good, good job. Look, that's why it works off the cam lock inside. That ain't gonna drop out, is it? No, that's all right. That's beautiful. So yeah, uh, I'll cover all that up now, so no shit gets in it. And then this is going to be taken to the diesel man to get reconditioned. 
So all in all, it's uh, easier than what I thought it would be, really, to tell you the truth. Bloody good show. Let's do it. There, nicely watertight with our birdie's old coat. Left the bits there as well so I don't lose them in that magnetic tray. Leave that there. Put that lovely. Nice and sealed. Now, not going to get any shit in it. How often do you shit in it, Chris? But I best ring David up, and I? Tell him my little mission is over. Oh, look what I got the other day, lot. Joe got me this up from the skip, lot, lot. Top man, Joe. For a little khaki bod. <laughs> There's a birthday next month. Little booty shit. She'll be two. Don't time fly. Freaking does it. Remember, guys, if you're not already subscribed, look, DJ Projects are on YouTube. I do fences and that, uh, uh, all kinds of stuff. I have, I have, I have lorries, do crushing, uh, do drives, do paths, do, 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 I don't know, just do like stuff. Uh, right, I'm going. Woo woo! Catch you on the next one! Yay!